So here I have 3x oscillator, and we're just going to make a basic 808 here. And then we'll turn it into something amazing with destructor after that. So when you pull up 3x oscillator, this is the sound that you get. So first things first, let's go into our envelope and create the shape that we want. Okay, that sounds like a good length for our 808. Right now we're only hearing sound from our first oscillator. You can see the volume is turned down on the second and third. Let's turn this pitch knob down 24 semitones. Cool. Now let's make a little attack in our pitch envelope. Bring the attack all the way down, hold all the way down, sustain and release all the way down. Turn this amount up and decrease this decay. And you'll hear a nice little transient at the beginning of our 808. And let's fine tune that, decrease the decay a little bit. So without it, with it, and let's adjust the curve here too. And there we go. Now we have a nice little transient at the beginning of our 808 and that'll get it to hit. But let's not stop there. Let's go ahead and layer this with a square wave. Square waves work great for 808s as well. We're going to pitch this one down 24 semitones as well. Turn the volume up. And now let's go ahead and go into our keyboard here and drop this down an octave so that we're actually in 808 range. And I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of high end right there, but that's what Destructor is here for. So we want that high end so that we have those extra signals that we can add saturation and distortion to. And on top of that, we have this nifty little filter where we could filter out that sound. So we're gonna start from scratch here, and I'm gonna switch the position of this distortion and filter because what I'm thinking is we're gonna add even more distortion to this 808 and then we're gonna filter out that sound. But we're gonna work backwards here so that we could hear the, the amount of filtering that we want before we drive the distortion into the filter. Here's the filter. And I definitely wanna darken that up. I'm gonna to switch to low pass 24. Sounds about right. I might adjust this resonance here. There we go. And let's turn on the, the distortion. Let's try out some different algorithms this time. Let's try the next one, Hill. Let's try to mess around with this Harmer rubber. So I'm using the cutoff filter inside of Harmer Rubber. So we're getting two filtering stages here, one in the distortion and another one in our final filter right here. Turn the wet knob up, so I'm gonna turn this out knob down. Now I'm going to go back into the filter and adjust this mix knob. And let's readjust the cutoff, see if we want more or less. I like the frequency right about there. So before we do anything else, let's just listen to what we started with and where we're at now. So before Destructor, after, definitely sounds more like your traditional 808 right there. So I'm also hearing I want a little bit more filtering before the distortion. So I'm just gonna move these on over and we're gonna add another filter in front of this distortion unit. We'll leave it on the default low pass 12 and let's just adjust as we listen. You can hear how that just really tightened up the 808. So before it, after, 
but let's check out some of these other filters instead. Low pass 12, alternate. That sounds great to me right there. So before, after, just a much more solid low end. And let's mess around with my favorite distortion unit or my previous favorite distortion unit, Blood Overdrive. So once again, before Destructor, and after. So according to YouTube, the next video you should watch is here on your left. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out the video on your right as well. I make new videos every week, so remember to turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I drop a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.